different Christianity, the true Christianity, is not about a form of godliness and about going to church and belonging to some denomination. It's not an external thing. And this is what Christianity is to many people today, many nominal Christians. They do the right things in their minds. They go to these churches once a week and they do some traditions. They sing some hymns. They do some even charity. And they think this is what it is. This is what Christianity is. Dear brothers and sisters, Christianity is about a transformation from within. The Holy Spirit comes inside and then He does a work in you, inside your heart. He transforms you. He makes you a child of God. He makes you a holy child of God, connected to Christ. This is true Christianity. The true Christians, dear friends, are not many. These are people who follow Jesus every day who have the kingdom of God on their minds, who have rejected this world and the vanity of this world, who do not follow after the spirit of this world. They are persecuted. They are hated. They don't belong to this world. They came out of this world. They live in this world, but they are not of it anymore. The world hates them because this world hated Jesus. This is what Jesus said. He said, because they hated me, they will hate you also. Do not be fooled, dear brothers and sisters, deceived by fake Christianity, this fake unity of churches today, what they call the ecumenical movement, which is putting all the churches together. It is fake love, fake unity. The true unity, dear friends, is under the authority of the words of Jesus. It is the people of God led by the Holy Spirit, they have the Spirit of Christ in them. They have turned away from selfishness, greed, sin, wickedness. They follow Jesus every day. Dear brother and sister, do you belong to the, to the true church? Do you belong to the kingdom of God? Do you fit in that kingdom? Do you have your part in that kingdom? Is Jesus your shepherd? Is he your king? Is he your master? Have you experienced the reality of Christ in your life? Or are you just doing some motions? Do you just have a label on you? You are just a Christian by name. Dear friends, we need to be serious about following Christ. We need to connect with Him. Belong to Him. Do you belong to Jesus, dear friend? Do you receive revelations from Him? Or are you just asleep? Dear friends, a lot of Christians today, nominal Christians, they don't belong to Jesus. They have never met Him. That's why they live like the rest of the world. There is no difference between them and the world. They follow after the same things. They enjoy the same jokes. They don't love Jesus. They just have Christian label on them. They don't listen to Jesus. They have never opened the Holy Scriptures to read what He said. They have never repented. They don't know what sin is, what holiness is. They don't see the difference between light and darkness, good and evil, right and wrong. They don't see these things because they haven't been awakened by God. They haven't been transformed by the Holy Spirit. Do you have the Holy Spirit? Are you connected to Christ? Is the kingdom of God on your mind? Are you ready to be hated, persecuted, rejected because of the name of Jesus? Dear friend, also, if you don't believe, don't waste time any longer. This world is perishing, dear friend, and one day you will die. One day you will stand before God for judgment. You will be surprised to see that Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, slain from the foundation of the world, He will be the one who will deliver your final judgment. Do not get to this moment unprepared. Repent today. Turn today. Come to Jesus. Let Him transform your life. Do not listen to other men. Do not be influenced by other people, including your spouse, your family, your friends. 
Look deep down inside you. Recognize your wretched state. Recognize that you need God. Submit to Him. Cry out. Repent. Turn away from sin. Believe in Christ and what He did for you on the cross. He shed His blood to forgive you, to provide a way for you, to be restored back to Him so that you become a child of God, part of the family that will be joined to Christ in eternity. Are you ready to truly become a child of God? It will not be easy. No one should promise you an easy way when you come to Jesus. The narrow way is hard because you will be persecuted. The world will reject you. But if you follow Christ, you will be on the narrow way, a hard way. But it's the only way that leads to eternal life. This world is perishing. It is stuck between heaven and hell. It is our choice today that will make the difference where we end up. Take the right decision. Be wise so that you take the right way, the narrow way. Do not mistake fake Christianity with true Christianity. True Christianity is about following Jesus every day, picking up our cross every day and following Him, being ready to be rejected, being ready to lay down everything for Jesus' sake. And may God bless you.